What's up guys, welcome in. Adam here, the Orlando drummer. Good to see you all. Thank you for tuning in to another single lesson. So today we are learning uh, a pretty cool, pretty flashy 30 second note chop. Uh, I've titled this guy The Matrix because it feels like you're in the matrix when you're doing this. It's really physical uh, and pretty aesthetic as well. So a good show off lick if you're in need of one of those. So 30 second notes, let's get it up on the screen, play it up to speed, then we'll talk about what's happening in this guy. Here we go, this is The Matrix. guys so you can see I have this thing structured out into our different groupings we're just gonna start from the top and get uh, deeper into these groupings as we go piece everything together towards the end so to start out we have a six note grouping of right left right left kick kick this is a really common or useful uh, rock or metal pattern but the way we're orchestrating it makes it pretty tricky so just kick and snare uh, our pattern would sound like this Very rockish, very metalish, really straightforward. So the way we're orchestrating this, right hand on the snare, that next left hand goes up to your rack tom, right hand on the floor tom like we're doing a normal walk down the kit, but then that last left hand, the fourth note um, in the measure here, that goes over to your hi-hat. So those four hands would be this. Then we'll add two kick drums to that and loop it in a circle. This is our first six notes. Not terrible. Now let's go into our second set of six notes. This one is just the six stroke roll. Right, left, left, right, right, left. That's the second grouping of six that you can see there. Orchestration is pretty straightforward. The first and the last note go up to the hi-hat. Those are the single, uh, the single strokes of the rudiment, right? So they're not part of a diddle. It's just a single right hand. That's the first note of the six stroke roll and the last note of the six stroke roll. So let's go up to the hi-hat. So just the second grouping of six notes, exactly as it's written, we would have this. Now let's just connect those first two groupings of six. So we have our linear pattern, right, left, right, left, kick, kick, into the six stroke roll, exactly as it's written. Let's just play our first 12 notes. Moving right along, we are now on to our third grouping of notes. This one is four notes long and it begins on the upbeat of beat two, right? So right where the and of two would be. This one is just right, left, left kick. I'm leaving that right hand on the snare. We're coming off of that closed hi-hat. So it will be a barked hi-hat, excuse me, not, not a closed hi-hat, it'll be an open hi-hat there. Then that right hand comes down uh, on the and of two, left, left kick. So let's just try playing um, up until that point. So this is all of beat one, all of beat two, and we're including or tacking on this four note pattern here to see what it all sounds like sitting next to each other. So here's the first half of the fill or our first three groupings.
Let's try looping this idea. So beats one and two just in a circle over and over. All right, we're getting there guys, halfway done. Let's go on to our next grouping of six notes, which is conveniently exactly the same as our first grouping of six notes. So same exact thing, same pattern and orchestration, right, left, right, left, kick, kick. So nothing different there. Now our next grouping of six notes, again, very similar to the last one with one small change. We have another six stroke roll here, right, left, left, right, right, left, except that last left hand is not going up to a, a splashed or an open hi-hat like it was the first time we played a six stroke roll. In this one, the later six stroke roll, uh, we're just taking that left hand and letting it bleed into uh, the last four notes, which is just single stroke. So we're trying to go from this six stroke roll uh, that takes us from beat three into beat four, that last grouping of six notes, we're trying to let that rudiment build up slowly into the powerful single strokes um, that is the last four note grouping. And you can see that we have a crescendo here, uh, meaning this entire section of music, all of beat four, is intended to grow in volume and get louder as we go. So you wanna pay close attention to how that six stroke roll ties into those single strokes because the single strokes are there to be very loud, right? To give you that, that climax of power at the end. Um, so you just wanna pay attention to how you get into that six stroke roll and know that it's supposed to feed into uh, that dynamic swell up at the end here. So let me slow all of this down, play it really, really slow. Um, of course, remember that all of our six note groupings are almost identical, so it's not nearly as intimidating as it looks. You just have to get used to the phrasing of what happens in the first half uh, of this measure as opposed to what's happening at the end of this measure, right? There's a little bit of a difference in feeling there, so you gotta be mindful of which one you're in. All right, let's slow this thing down. Three speeds, uh, this is the matrix. Thank you for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking for more content like this, I have a ton of it waiting for you on orlandodrummer.com. It's an online education platform, very much in the style of Netflix. You can download our iOS and Android apps. Uh, links are down in the description of this video. I promise you will find something you like there and you can try it free for seven days. I'll see you guys there.